I'm Dr. David Gathara. I'm an epidemiologist by training, uh, but with a undergraduate training in nursing. Um, my experience in research uh, and interest in research started off uh, in my undergraduate level where at the university I went to really exposed students to research at a very early stage um, way from the first year. And at that point I picked up my interest in research and had the interest to do this uh, more of as a career. And I was lucky enough to, after graduation and did some bit of practicing for licensing and ended up uh, with a job in research. And after that I've moved on to pursue the career mainly academically but also in practice. Um, my career work has spanned a lot of disciplines. Um, I started off doing routine uh, quality of care assessment work, moved on to clinical trials, uh, used some bit of advanced statistical methods to analyze routine data for better decision making. But my current now my current work now focuses on human resources for health uh, with a bias to nursing. And my main interest in this area has been uh, resorted from one, there's a nursing workforce crisis, there isn't enough hands on the ground. And from my previous work, what was, um, some of the work or findings that came out of that work uh, was this, there was poor quality of care, but a lot of it focused on the clinical aspects of care. So trying to assess, do clinicians actually do the right assessment, do they make the right investigations, do they give the right treatments, and do these adhere to guidelines. But a more important question that kept lingering at the back of my head was that well, well all these things were being done the right way, were, we, did, were the interventions actually getting to the patients? And that was an important question for me. Uh, but more important is that all these interventions, whoever be it medical, nutritional, um, whichever intervention that you think about that gets to a patient in an inpatient setting, uh, most of them are delivered by nurses. And therefore the nursing workforce is very important uh, in evaluating what care the patients end up getting. And so the current work that I'm trying to develop is what is the role of nurses in the delivery of quality care and how might um, we get funders by generating this evidence. Because this area of work has been really not a key area that funders have picked up upon. A, a lot of the funded research is on clinical work, but we hope that by getting funders interested in generating this evidence, they will appreciate the importance of this workforce and this area of research, a field of research. Um, what I would tell young people who are interested to join the field um, is research is really interesting. It can be rewarding and it's rewarding, um, especially when you come up with findings that you actually end up discovering that you're influencing policy, you're influencing practice, uh, which is very important and getting people to recognize your work at a global level and when you come up with ideas that funders can believe in and see that you actually have a, an important question and an important problem that you can bring a solution to. I think we need more of that in our setting because um, when they, there's, no, are they, there's a lot of, there are a lot of questions that need answers and there's only a limited number of us. So yeah, they should, uh, they should feel welcome to the field. Um, it requires some bit of patience. Um, well, you need both the, the academic and research experience to go up the ladder. Yeah.